Of course, we would like to give a lot of uh, useful information for you and I, on behalf of all Haas Group team, I must say thank you for your interest. Thank you so much. The Haas Group is one of the main textile machine manufacturers in Turkey since 1989. Uh, we are very well organized and very well set up of factory in Turkey who are producing almost all kinds of finishing machinery like stenter, uh, raising, sharing, compacting machine and uh, complete the big lines for how to say uh, the carpet industry, artificial leather industry, all technical textile equipments like uh, the coating machines, calendars and so on. And as I explained to you, since more than, uh, maybe more than, yeah, 20, 25 years we are in the textile industry, the, the owners of the company, they are very well educated in Italy. Yeah. And they are graduated to one of the, the very nice and very important private Italian school in Turkey. And they went to Italy and they finalized their education and they returned back to Turkey. What was they, are, they were aiming? They were aiming to set up such a nice and very well organized uh, production plant in order to be bring the, the textile machinery industry to Turkey because at that time the Turkish people were doing very good textile business but there was no big and very well organized machine manufacturer and then we set up such a big textile uh, machine manufacturer plant and then we start slowly, slowly to make some uh, cooperation with some Italian machine manufacturer at the beginning. We were just doing uh, some job works to them, not produce as a final products. And then when they realized the power of Turkey and also the, power, uh, the production capacity of Turkish people, uh, many other people also interest to make a collaboration with the Turkish people because at that time, what was the important? The people are producing in Europe, but they were looking for the bridge in order to open gates through the, like, some neighbor countries to Turkey, Iran, Uzbekistan, Egypt, and Syria. At that time, because of the, how to say, geographical condition, Turkey one of the best place. And then, one of the biggest uh, Italian machine manufacturer, we had a, we had a long term collaboration with them, Lafer SPA, they came to Turkey and we made the agreement and we set up our, the second plant, the name is Lafer Turk, under the name of Lafer Turk, between 2005 and uh, 2000, uh, 1995 till 2007, we produced almost all kinds of dry finishing machines like raising, uh, sharing, uh, tumbler dryer, open with a tubular compacting machine. But in, in a time being, our customers request more innovative machine from us group because the Turkey is a country there are a lot of options available. Yeah. Just nearby to my factory, there are more than 900 textile mills available. Yeah. It's, it's our good luck because we can get a feedback from the everybody and we can make some innovation on the machines. And then we wanted to produce some other machines and we discussed our existing partner but they were not willing to do that. And slowly, slowly, we, the separation has come. And then Haas Group taken place today's condition and uh, able to produce almost all technical textile machineries and also finishing machineries as well. The company profile is like this at the beginning, I did to tell you. Since 1999, I was not here actually 1999, but my first story begin with ITMA, it was 2003 in Birmingham. Because I, I, was, I have been working in Haas Group since the last 12 years. And, but as, as I know very well, our first participation to ITMA exhibition, it was 1999 in France, uh, Paris, right? And then Birmingham and then Germany and Barcelona. And, and of course, the next year will be, will be in Milano too. Because Milano, we can say, uh, it's our second hometown because more than 15 years we have an office in Milano yeah. and we are, we, are, we are handling our European market, the sales activity from that office. It's very honest to tell, the ITMA organizations is only way to 
open your gate through many international markets. Because, of course, how we manage our international sales? One by one, we are visiting our customers in the different countries and we would like to say hello to many people, but how possible? You know, the, such an Olympics of the textile machinery, ITMA, always helping us too much to find out the new business opportunity all around the world. Uh, personally, I can tell you the truth. And more than almost 18 countries, I set up my sales network thanks to ITMA organization. Really. Innovation base, uh, the, the most of the machine manufacturers, they concentrate too much the machine, what they are producing. Believe me, it's uh, really hard to say, but if you do something well, 90% of energy you must, uh, how to say, you must focus on that business. But there are also some other the technology and innovations. Uh, and easily, I can say that we don't have so much chance to see what the other people are doing. And thanks to their innovations and thanks to their uh, the new developments, yeah. we can also put some additional value to our machines. Yeah. That's why the, such a big organization, ITMA exhibitions all around the world, giving us the chance to meet a lot of suppliers, sub-suppliers, and also other machine manufacturers. Either we are in competition or not, but the, the exchange the information always gives some benefits to the end users, yeah. machine manufacturers, and garment manufacturers and all. That's why we love these platforms. I was waiting this question actually. <laughs> now a uh, minimum maybe 20 minutes we can talk about it. Yeah, we realized the technical textile is growing last uh, 10 years and uh, earlier we were producing only small machines like raising, sharing and compacting machine only in order to make some process for knit fabric and woven fabric. But the people realize uh, at the end of the day they need to have some value added in order to get some more profits because if they produce the standard equipments, the competition is very hard. They cannot be a more competitive all around the world. And the technical textile means that it's a really wide range. It's a deepest ocean, it's my word. And uh, of course, we, we were planning to do something in the te technical textiles, but at the beginning, it's a big question what we are going to produce. And then we made a mark, market search around a six months and seven months. We had a the discussion with many consultants, many end users, and we just collect their foresight and what we should invest for the technical textiles. And the most of the people agree that we are one of the, the biggest, the standard machine manufacturer in the world. And they said that such a uh, the, the cutting machine, it's almost 95% of the technical textiles. Yeah. Because if you are going to produce any coating machine, which is easy to operate, uh, which can uh, offer you many options in order to get different fabrics, like how to say tarpaulins and ladies bag, and the medical textile equipments and the men's sport beard, you can have a wide range of the, the, the pr production. Uh, our story and history start with the technical textiles almost let's say six years back and we produced our first coating machine and then slowly slowly of course we upgraded it yeah. why we are lucky because the turkey is one of the main market and many people are doing a technical textile and thanks to their feedback we develop ourselves too much and today in not only turkey italy uh, brazil argentina iran and uh, let's say Uzbekistan, people are doing a technical textile and we are providing our machines. But the one thing I need to share with you, the technical textiles buyers, they are mainly based in United States and Europe. And the main suppliers located in Europe and United States. The most of the my, my customers, they are a little bit complain about that. They are only producing the small part of this business. The all big parts already shared by the Europeans and the American people. But we are lucky because we can provide the machine everybody. But the, 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 the customers who are producing the technical textile, 
they are not able to get the big part of the business. They complain about it, but the world is changing and the, the, the textile industry is getting globalization and I'm sure they will get such a good way to promote their, uh, their products as well. We are ready to support them in any case. Uh, we would like to share our technology and know-how about the, the technical textiles because the technical textile is not only machine. You should provide them also know-how, how to process the fabric, including the chemical information, including other sites. But we are believing us. We are believing our technology on this road. We believe in one thing from the beginning. The one of the main problem of the, the Turkish machine manufacturer. There are some good players and some bad players. This is not only about the Turkey, also the other countries also having the same problem. We always motivate the people. Whatever you do, you must do your best. Otherwise, the one guy, whatever they made a good or not, directly affect the others. The big players always complain about the other big players because, because of their, how to say, the mistakes done in the past. We have difficulties to explain our uh, innovations and the technology. Uh, the only things I need to tell you, make a machine and keep it running. Then people can get some profit with your machines because we don't produce car, we produce truck. People not enjoy and having fun with our products. They are buying these products in order to earn money. As much as you can offer them such a solution, they can choose you very easily. And today, of course, more or less all the machine manufacturers uh, concentrate too much how they can save the operating cost in favor of the customers. On the, because of this reason, the machine technology not getting uh, complex is getting easier and easier you know easy operating uh, the less electricity consumption less gas consumption less energy consumption that's why we develop a lot of equipments like heat recovery units and also there are some new electronic systems in order to use less electric energy these are the things we are doing nowadays